League action for you this afternoon. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates taking on the Seattle Mariners. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Partner, you don't see a lot of these so-called finesse pitchers in the sport today, but these are two of the best around, really crafty. Yeah, and there's a level of appreciation when you talk about how these guys are so consistent and they go out there, they know what they want to do, and they don't deviate from the plan. Even when they get into a little bit of trouble, they're able to make the pitches and stay out of the big inning. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to roll. And on the mound today, a guy who will give them innings, Luis Castillo. Well, this guy's just been filthy out there on the mound. Hitters batting under 200 against him and they're just Leaving having a hard time Andrew squaring up anything doing any type of damage the only way he hurts himself is if he gives up the free passes and surrenders a rare home run but outside of that it's gonna be a tough job for the opposing lineup today Got him swinging for the strikeout. Chased the fastball up the ladder for strike three. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Brian Reynolds here. In there and it's 0-1. Luis Castillo, a guy who debuted in 2017 with the Reds at 24 years old. Multiple All-Star appearances. Traded to the Mariners at the deadline in 2022. You think about that triple-digit fastball, but the changeup oh, is the him. thing that stands out. Yeah, and you could argue that he's got the best changeup in baseball. From the right side, it's like a Bugs Bunny pitch and works so well off of his fastball. Kicks and fires. And oh. ball one. The idea was one right. Two. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. That's off the mark. Now two and two. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Raleigh pulls that one down. Out number two. Batting third, the designated hitter, Connor Joe. Two outs, space is empty. Connor Joe, the next pirate to hit. That hits the dirt, and that's ball one. In the air, left field, Kelnick gliding to his right. He's got it, and that is out number three. Middle of the first. Now it'll be the M's turn. No score. Back in Seattle, and today's starter, Mitch Keller. Lots of punch outs, a real strikeout artist, Singy. Well, he's allowing just over one base runner per inning, which is really good, especially for a starter, because these hitters get to see you two, three, maybe even four times in a start. So just shows you how deceptive and how effective his stuff Ooh, is. We'll see if it's that way in this one. That's Bottom that's of the first. J.P. Crawford gets a chance to hit. Crawford. The wind and the pitch. That Ooh. one's in there. That's strike one. Righty to the plate. Foul ball. And the pitch to the right side. Fair ball. And now it rolls all the way to the wall. He puts it in his pocket, safe at first without a play. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. Now the number two hitter, Ty France. 
and oh. takes low for ball one. And a pitch. Line drive, base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. And the first oh. pitch misses for ball one. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. The 1-0. -oh. Dive, and he's got it. The throw. Big. Oh. Toss to second. Oh, on to there. first. Right. Safe. So they get one, but a really nice try there. Just a beautiful play right there to get it out. He dives to make the stop. Then a nice feed from his knees. Knew he didn't have time to get up and make that throw. The throw beats the runner. That's that internal clock working. Here's Jared Kelnick. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. And that's in there for strike one. No action in the bullpen, though. Looks like they're going to let him stay out there. Two on, one out. And that is in for a strike. And the count is 0-2. First and third, one down. On the ground, a second might be two. He's in safely at second as a run scores. They'll expect a back and forth this entire game because of how good the offenses are. The First and second, hitter. one out. Hey, hey, Eugenio hey, Suarez hey, up to the plate now. Right. Chop back up the middle. Tosses to first. Play is made, two out. That exists. The catcher. Cal Raleigh. And stepping in for the Mariners, Cal Raleigh. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. Squirts away a little bit. No movement on the base. It's ball one. The 1 0. -oh. And a foul ball. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Next oh, offering ball. is down low. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Right hander kicks deals. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. That one missing Great. inside. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. He knew he had a little wiggle room with the open base, that but is, now that disappears. We stake to this next batter, and this inning might really break open. And now Teoscar Hernandez. And that one pulled foul. Two outs. Bases are full. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Safe. He no. beats it. No, really. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And 
And now for Seattle, Jose Caballero. That one's in there, 0 and 1. No ball, one strike. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. Hard hit to third. Zips it to first. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Three runs for them here, and they move ahead. We'll head to inning number two at T-Mobile Park. It's the Mariners three and the Pirates nothing. Back at T-Mobile Park, here's the veteran first baseman, Carlos Santana. Carlos Santana. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. First pitch doesn't find the zone. A 3-0 lead is great, but you can't get too comfortable. Got to stay aggressive, keep attacking hitters, try to cruise through this ball game. Oh. Next offering is in for a strike. Rusty Valentine calling balls and strikes. Book, something I hear from hitters about Valentine is they know they don't have to protect off the plate too much in two strike counts, and that can be a big deal in terms of your confidence and seeing some pitches in that at bat. Nope, the next the offering plate. misses, and a count two and one. Fans don't really understand the familiarity and relationship players and coaches have with umpires. I mean, you see these guys a lot. Yeah, Boog, these guys are all out there trying to do their best and perform at a high level. So when you respect that, I think, over time, you can develop a relationship with some of these guys. Still two and two after the foul ball. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Jack Sawinski at the plate now. That's ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Next offering upstairs. Two balls, two strikes. Got him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat, bat, bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt 13. once you've committed. Key he tried to check the swing, Hayes. just couldn't do it. Now batting key Brian One Hayes. And yeah, the first offering is not close. The why to kick the pitch. And now it's even One up. One strike. Good eye That's right there. Ball. The two on. Next offering ball. misses down and away. In the air right field. And the inning is over. Nothing doing here for Pittsburgh. They trail it here, 3-0. Welcome back. Colton Wong up to here. For the Mariners, the second baseman, Colton Wong. Keller back to work. And oh. the first pitch misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. Oh. 
And a good eye there. Now 3 oh, and oh. oh, saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Ripped into left center, base hit. Around first and hustling for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Now it's the shortstop, J.P. Crawford, singled and scored his first time. Ball That's one ball. low. One and oh. Runner leads away at second. Started after it, appealed to third, and he went around. That's ruled a swing. Runner at second, nobody out. That one finds the corner. One and two. And that's down and away. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Man at second. Bounced up the middle. Bay. On to first. That's one out in the bottom of the second. No, well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out no, in front a little bit. Rolled over on it and beat it into the ground. And here's the first baseman, Ty France. And he's already singled in this game. And that oh, one just ball. misses a ball and no strikes. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's, that's exactly the what the pitcher wants. Hey, 2-0. That's a base hit as a run scores. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Julio Rodriguez up next for the Mariners. 0 for 1, he hit into a fielder's choice his first time. A little bit oh, high, maybe. One and oh. One of the things that's cool is Rodriguez, even as young as he is, has formed kind of a neat relationship with Ichiro Suzuki. They met back in 2019 when Julio asked to take a photo with Ichiro, and the relationship has grown since then. And there's the strike. Well, no surprise that as a kid, Julio Rodriguez says he admired Alex Rodriguez, Manny Ramirez, David Ortiz, and Ichiro Suzuki, Hi. among others as far as guys he looked up to in the big leagues, and those are some pretty good players in my opinion. Rip to right, base hit. France makes the turn at second. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost art for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. And up next for Seattle, Jared Kellner. He's 0 for 1. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss as he was out front. 
One down, runners at second and third. Third. He goes down Ooh. looking. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. And hey, Eugenio Suarez up to hit now. Grounded out his first time. Swing, and that one hammered. Down the line. If it's fair, it's gone. And that is out of here. A towering home run. It's his sixth home run of the season, and they add to their lead. It's 7-0. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. On the mound now for the Pirates, Rich Hill. He's got a wicked breaking ball in his arsenal, and it's definitely one of his go-to pitches when he needs an out. Rich Hill. And here's the catcher, Cal Raleigh. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. This to center field. Sawinski on the move. He makes the grab, and that ends the inning. But four runs score in the inning. Three coming right here on the three-run homer. It's now 7-0. And welcome back. And now the rookie second baseman, Jiwon Bay. Jiwon Bay. Bats left, throws right, 23 years old. And he's a native of South Korea. And that's a strike. That one, one misses one in the back. dirt. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even oh, shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. And the righty deals. Looked like oh. it was a little bit up. Three and one. Top right, of the please. zone, and it's called a strike. Three balls. Two strike. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. To first, leadoff hitter gone in the third. Batting it. The right field. Right Josh Palacios. At the play, Josh Palacios. In there for strike one. They say it went. One down, base is empty. Struck him out swinging. Gassed it right by him. Dominating strikeout there on just three the pitches, and that's what a good power pitcher can do to you. He's hitting his spots, Delay. filling up the strike zone. Sometimes he bats over before it really begins. And the batter now, Jason Delay. And a foul ball. Now the 0-1. That's the third. Caballero. Jump throw. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. Bucks go down quietly. They continue to trail 7 0. Bottom of the inning. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. The right Hernandez in his sixth season, hitting seventh in today's lineup, and he's won a silver slugger in the American League. 
First offering, misses the mark. Well, these Mariners really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. They jumped all over the starter and knocked him out of the game early. He just was never able to settle in, and the damage was done by the time he got the hook. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. And stepping in for the Mariners, Jose Caballero. I mean, when you're chasing the opposing starter in the first inning or two, that's just such a tone setter for the game. And it puts the other team back on their heels, and it instills a lot of confidence in your lineup from top to bottom. Next Whoa. offering is downstairs. One and one. Next Bye. offering is in for a strike. And here it comes. Stays alive. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Pitch misses, and the count is two and two. Gets under it and pops it up. Marcano racing over to make the catch. Now that second, second baseman, baseman. Colton. Colton. Wong. Colton Wong up next for the Mariners. Doubled his first time up. Wong goes no, five feet seven ball. inches, 185 pounds, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Hawaii. Next oh. one is off the play. Two and oh. oh. And a rope into center field, base hit. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. There's the tag. They get him. And that's the inning. Back in Seattle, start of the fourth, and now the Pirates leadoff man, Tucapita Marcano. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Late on that one fastball. Ball, that was straight queso right there. In the air to left, down the line. Kelnick, long run, and that's a foul ball. The one-two. Oh. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. The pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. 2-2 two -two now. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Left-hand batter waits. Got him swinging. Good pitch right there. I mean, he's attacking a location that this guy at the plate tends to have trouble with. And there's just so much information in this day and age, sometimes too much information. But the guys that can take that information, process it, and then go out there, Boog, and execute the pitch, go right after that hitter and get the result that they were anticipating, that's really good pitching right there. And it's a good job of the pitcher and the catcher working together. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. And now the count is even.
the pitch. 3 2 okay. now. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Raleigh makes the grab, two down. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Two outs, space is empty. To the plate now for Pittsburgh is the DH, Connor Joe. And a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Strike two. Oh, two. The Pirates hitless so far in the game. And that one hit 97 on the gun. And one, two, three, go the Pirates. Not going their way. It's seven, nothing. Back here at the ballpark, and the batter will be the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. Shortstop. J.P. Crawford. Hill back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Can't field it cleanly, but he wins the foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. And now for Seattle, Ty France. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. And that's in there for strike one. Now I wanted one. And now the lefty rocketed out towards right center. And no one can get there. Now he turns and heads for second. Pulls in with a double third hit for him today. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bolt the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you've got extra bases right off the bat. That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep at night. Julio Rodriguez will hit next. And first offering is fouled off. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Next pitch ball. is outside. One ball, two strikes. And that's in the two dirt. Balls, two strikes. Ball and three. now it's three and two. Three ball, really good two take, strikes. especially with two strikes. And ball four ball to a board. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really no close here. pitches and yeah, right, somehow right. Boogie found a way to yeah, keep the bat right. on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Here's the left fielder, Jared Kellner. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right oh. here. First pitch just misses. Runners at first and second with one gone. That one lifted to left. Reynolds gets under it. And there's two down. Now, now batter, batter, the designated, the designated hitter, hitter, Eugenio. So first and second oh, with two right. outs. And now the DH, A. Eugenio Suarez. He's already homered in this game. 
in there, and it's 0-1. And it's quickly nothing in two on uh, the designated hitter. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Inning over. Mariners leave a couple, and they hold a 7 nothing lead. Back at T-Mobile Park, Leading digging in, pitcher. Carlos Santana. Carlos Santana. And he deals. Strike. And that's in for a strike. You know, these Pirates just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. We're in the back half of the game, and they're still searching for a base runner. He's been great out there on the mound, no doubt, but it's also been a disappointing performance at the plate to this point. Next one just misses. Yeah, the count one and two. And as we get deeper, it's not going to get any easier. These at bats are going to feel more and more desperate with every out the rest of the way. On to France. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air, lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. So up next, Jack Sawinski went down on strikes his first time through. Foul ball there. The Pirates yet to pick up a hit here. And That's it's even ball. up. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. Next That's offering misses, and it's two and ball. one. One strike. The wind of the pitch. That misses, and, and the count is filled up. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Well, he's on a great run of strikeouts and showing excellent control and command, not walking opposing batters. You know, this offense, they've got to find a way to break his rhythm, put the bat on the ball, maybe try to bunt for a base hit, get him off the mound, moving around, step out, something to interrupt his timing because he's coming right after these guys. Hayes batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Pitch is in there. No balls, two strikes. Now oh, this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Next One pitch ball. way two upstairs. Strikes. Swing and a base hit. And that extends the inning. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Runner at first with two away. Here's a speed threat. G1 Bay. That one ball missed. One. one ball, no strike. And the 1 0. Ball inside. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. 2 0 to count. Here it comes. Right. There's a sinker at the knees for Two a strike.
Checks his swing. Appeal down to third. And yes, he offered at it. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now the Mariners catcher, Cal Raleigh. He is at the top of the game in terms of defense at the catching spot. The pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. It's so impressive because these guys have to do so much study and preparation for their pitchers, for opposing hitters, and really their number one job oh, is to guide that staff through a ball game. And so when you also can turn it up offensively and be a force there, that is a win-win every manager's dream. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. And no, that's the first right, out right, in the bottom of the fifth. Stepping in, Teoscar oh, Hernandez. One for two with a two-run single back in the first. Swang and a miss. Oh, and, and it's 0-1. Oh, Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. Hey. Next offering is Ooh. in for a strike. Here comes a pitch. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Caballero in the box again. No takes ball. a strike. Hey, seven straight strikes to start the frame. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. The 0-1. Way oh. high. Got close to the immaculate inning, and he just couldn't find the zone right there. When you think about it, nine straight strikes, so tough to do. Swing One and a miss. Hit. No, he's really working that inside corner with the cutter. I tell you what, I hated that pitch. So tough to get the barrel to and to keep it fair. Rolled over to third. Whips it to first. And the Mariners set down one, two, three. Nobody left for Seattle, but they're still in control. It's seven, nothing. And welcome back. Top Leading of the sixth the inning. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Josh Palacios. Palacios. Castillo back to work. And takes low for ball one. Ground ball right side. And he handles it himself for the out. The catcher, the catcher number, number 55, 55 Jason, Jason DeLay. DeLay. Up next for the Pirates, Jason DeLay. Grounded out his first time up. That one misses, and that's ball one. And a swing and a miss there. One ball, one and it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, Two but ball, they've not been able strike. to commit to one velocity and stay there. And a pitch. And now two and two. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers oh. pulling that change Three up ball. in the stands That's and right. then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two out. And now the Pirates' leadoff man, Tucapita Marcano. There's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Check swing, and that's a ball. 
Marcano measures six feet even, 23 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. Strike on the inside corner, and the count one and one. And the right-hander deals. And that one is lifted in the air, and it falls. And Brian Reynolds with a chance to make an impact with two away. Left fielder. Dominant Brian. performance for him today, Boog. Just two hits allowed so far, no runs across either, and he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. Two outs, runner at first. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Brian Reynolds. And yeah, that's no, a little bit high. That misses balls, the zone. No Two balls, no strikes. At the belt and fires. Close oh. one, doesn't get the call. Real. Three balls, no strikes. Yes. And there's the automatic. Next offering is fouled back. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Righty delivers. Chop to first. Oh, and he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. 3-2. Ground ball right side. Wong. Over to first. Yeah. That's out number three. One hit, one left. 9-1 and 2 scheduled to hit the home half of the sixth. It's the Mariners 7 and the Pirates nothing. Back in Seattle, John Chomby with Chris Hold Singleton up, in the booth and leading the off the bottom of the sixth, Colt Luong. Whoa. The pitch. Oh. And that clips the inside corner. Well, these Mariners doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. The numbers say their chase rate That's or awesome. swings at pitches outside the zone is under 25%. And I think it's a big reason why they're scoring runs. Swing and a miss. One ball. And it's one and two. By not chasing out of the zone, they're getting good pitches to hit. When you can do that, you have a much better chance to square up the baseball and do damage like they have so far. On the ground, right side, oh. and foul ball. And now it's oh, even up. Got him looking. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, no, and no, I don't no, think no, he no, was no, taking no, it, thinking no, it might no, be no. a called ball yeah, or yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. I just think he was flat out Rubber. frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Crawford now at the oh, plate as he swings through strike one. And it's no. one and one. One ball, one strike. Good eye oh. in that spot. On the ground to first. He'll do it himself. Ow. Two up, two down. The first baseman, number 23. Tom. Chris. Two outs, base is empty. And now the first baseman, Ty France. Oh. 
He swings and misses at Go the ball. first pitch. 0-1. One one. And fouled off. Two outs. Line drive, base hit down the line. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in. He got a pitch he could get to out front, kept his bat through the ball, and didn't pull off or roll his hands over. And that allowed him to rip that ball down the line for the double. And in scoring position with two away. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Julio Rodriguez. First ball. pitch doesn't find the zone. One ball. No strike. Runner leads away at second. Check swing. One one. He went. And the count one and one. Two outs and one in scoring position. Line drive, and that's a base hit into right. Flying around third is France. He scores. It's 8 nothing. Well done. Drives in the run. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. And now it's the cleanup hitter for the Mariners, Jared Kellner. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So a good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. The 0-1. Swings through that. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. The next pitch misses. One and two to count. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Good job to fight that one off. Next pitch, no. not close, up high. Runner at second, two down. Swing and a miss. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We're through six full. It's the Mariners eight and the Pirates nothing. Welcome back. New and inning getting started. Hard. Now it's the, the DH, DH. Connor Joe. Joe. And the right hander back to work. Huh. That's in there. 0 and 1. 0 and 1. That oh. one is upstairs. The 1 1. And now two and one after that missed inside. And the pitch. Up the middle. There to beat yeah. him by an yeah. eyelash. Ow. I love how guys at this level are able to slow the game down, whether it's in the batter's box or on defense. And right there, that was a good job of knowing just how much time he had. We talk about that internal clock. He was able to gather himself, get a good grip, and make an accurate throw across the diamond. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. That's in for a strike at 95. It's 0-1. 99 pitches, about to throw his 100th here in the seventh inning. This is where you really start looking for any signs of fatigue. And that one is inside ball one. And now the count, 
one and two after the swing and the miss. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And now the count is even. And now the count filled up three and two. The three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four. Well, he's starting to look a little gas to me and we'll see if they go to the bullpen in this spot or not. Now, Jack Sawinski. Ground ball right side could be two. One at second. Double play. Yeah. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. This one pretty well decided at this point. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Mariners eight and the Pirates nothing. Pirates with a new arm on the mound. Johan Ramirez. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Your attention, please. please. Now, now pitching, pitching for, for the Pirates, Pirates. number 48, 48. Johan Ramirez. Ramirez. In now is the Mariners' DH, Eugenio Suarez. He's already homered here in this one. Eugenio Suarez. The pitch. And that oh. one just missed off the outside edge. Activity in the bullpen. Robert Stevenson, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Moretta getting loose as well. On the ground. Tosses to first. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Now, now batting. batting. Catcher. Catcher. Cow. Cow. Raleigh. Next to hit, Cal Raleigh. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. First oh. offering misses the mark. Called ah, strike, ooh. a sinker at the bottom of the zone. And a ground ball to first. Santana steps on the bag. And a couple of quick outs. Well, right fielder. Teoscar. Hernandez. Two outs, bases empty. And now Teoscar Hernandez. One for three. And first offering is fouled off. Wings and misses. It's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Mariners go down quietly there as the lead holds at eight to nothing. Back here at the ballpark, ready to begin the eighth. And now it's going to be Key Brian Hayes. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. The wind and the pitch. And that misses off the outside edge. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play, can throw from so many different angles, and makes really tough plays look very easy. And that's outside. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite. Well, Boog, one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft yeah, hand cool. defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. Oh, 
up the middle. Sends it to first, oh. and that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Second base, G1 Bay. At the plate for Pittsburgh, G1 Bay. In there for strike no one. one strike. Action in the bullpen for Seattle. Marco Gonzalez appears to be getting ready for manager Scott Service. Got a right-hander loosening up as well. The why to kick the pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Here's the 0-2. The punch out there, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. Just overmatched on that fastball right there, and it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at-bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. Palacios up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Close, but called a ball. Two balls, no strikes to count. Hey, he doubled up on the off speed there. We talk about the power fastball, but he's working a well, little differently here. 3 0 down. And now 3 and 1. They say it went. And a weak ground ball to the left side. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. The catch and number here comes the Mariners manager to the mound. Changing. Pitching change the coming. Way. Luis Castillo won't go any further. Great effort out of him as he exits in line for the win. We'll tell you about the new pitcher when we get back. Pitcher on here, Trevor Guy. Definitely a guy that pounds the strike zone, makes hitters earn their way on base, and rarely gets in trouble because of free passes. So, a man aboard, Jason DeLay, getting ready to hit. And there's a ball. The 1 0. And there's the strike. Softly hit the third. They take the He's force out. out. Out number three. That situation navigated to perfection by the Mariner bullpen. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Mariners eight and the Pirates nothing. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Lee now, Lee here Lee is Lee Jose Caballero. Caballero. The third baseman. Jose, Jose Caballero. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move till the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. No ball. 0 2 as he waves at that one. And that oh, just oh, misses. It's a good take. To the right side. And that chance handled. Throws to first. Lead off man is out here in the eighth. Up next for Seattle. The second baseman. Now it's the second baseman, Colton Wong. Fouls one off out of play. Back to our left. The 
Right-hander kicks, deals. Ball one. And a count one and two. Kicks and fires. Fouls it off. Still one and two. And a pitch. And that one is in the dirt. It's two and two. In the air, out towards right center. Palacios sizes this one up, brings it in with a nice running grab. Two way down. Three. Shortstop, J.P. J.P. Crawford up next for the Mariners. And that's in there for strike one. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch he'll see in this at bat to hit. On the ground, right side. Fires over to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. Mariners are down in order as it remains an 8 nothing game. All set to start the ninth in this one. And now the Pirates leadoff man, Tucapita Marcano. The wind of the pitch. That's, That's a ball. little bit low. Action in the pen what down there. Justin Topa appears to be getting ready for manager Scott's service. Next offering is in for a strike. No need to offer at that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. Next offering no, is down low. Two balls, one strike. Upstairs. Nope, Bounced up the middle. Gloves it on the dive. Over to first. But he beats it out. And the leadoff man is on with an infield single. The effort from both players involved in this play just really stands out to me. I mean, you got the diving stop at short, which was outstanding. And how can you not love the hustle flying down the line? That's just great baseball at an extremely high level. And now Brian Reynolds called strike right there. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. And he'll one. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Rudder at first with no outs here. Next pitch no. inside, and the count one and, two. one and two. Too close for me, partner, to take that 0-2 fastball, but for whatever reasons, he let it go by. He's still in the at-bat. I don't think he'll let the next one go. Righty to the plate. And down on strikes. Now one gone in the ninth. Well, he clearly didn't recognize that curveball out of the hand and tried to now check the it. swing, just went it around too far, it. and you're Connor. hoping the umpire maybe yeah, missed yeah. it, and they bail you out. Joe in the box now. No balls and a strike. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. That one fouled off. Oh. 
fastball, oh. and he gets out of the way. One ball, two straight. Right-handed reliever. Bounce to the left side, and it no, goes foul just off. foul. And the righty deals. And that one oh. cutting but missing down low. Left field, Kelnick under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. Well, that front right. shoulder front coming right. open instead of staying well, closed. If he does down. that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. So they're down to their final out. Carlos Santana, the next pirate to hit. And first offering is fouled off. And he takes a strike. That one to first. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. Well, a big win by eight runs. And when you have that kind of lead, do you make it easier for the pitching staff to come out, make their pitches, pitch to contact, and not worry about giving up the lead? So nice job today all the way around to get the W. 8 nothing is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.